how developers so in this part of uh, angular e-commerce project we will learn that how we can update navigation bar after seller login uh, but you can ask a question there like why we need to update the uh, navigation bar after seller logged in uh, and what we will update there so let me show you that case after that we'll jump on the points see currently there is a no seller logged in in our system and uh, if i am just jumping on the home page or in seller page we can see there a uh, similar navigation bar that is perfectly fine there is a no issue so once seller is logged in then there is a no need of this uh, login and cart uh, 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 menus because the purpose of seller is adding the product or removing or updating the product right so uh, we will add these types of menus so that user can uh, log out we can show the uh, seller name there and uh, uh, menus related to the seller like add product or update product and product listing and all right and one more thing even we don't need this search bar because this is a global search for uh, searching product to buy them not to just add them right so we will uh, remove this area also and we will just replace these menu options once seller is logged in or sign up so let me just show you uh, so let's say what actually we are uh, seeing after login now so let me uh, um, log in the anil and the username anil at the rate test.com and password is abc123 and whenever i'm just logging with it now you can see that uh, menus are still same right at the home page they are okay there is a no issue but once seller will uh, you can say that uh, seller is logged in we don't need to show these menus right once seller in the uh, seller home page and all that time we can remove these menus so now let's see how we can do that first thing is that we will use a router service and that service will help us to check the current route like we are on the home page or router page or where we are after that uh, uh, once we will just get the current route we will check that seller is logged in or not with the help of local stories and uh, if seller is logged in then we can update the navigation menus and if even seller is just come out on the home page then he can see the normal menus and even he can buy the product also if you want if he uh, or she want right so now let's uh, just go to the code and where we have to do all of these things inside the header component so let's let's open the header component uh, i'm jumping on the header.component.ts and uh, i'm importing their uh, router service so let me just put there import something from at the rate angular router and uh, my service name is router there and let me just uh, make a private property with that private route and router and now we can just simply check that uh, are we just uh, uh, able to detect the route or not so just uh, simply put there this dot router dot events dot subscribe and there we can uh, simply get a callback function and it will return some data also so i'm just uh, using their console dot warn and let's check that we are what we are getting inside the well so uh, let me just open the console right so now let's say i am on the home page so let me just jumping on the seller page and now you can see that uh, in a, a router we have uh, a object and there is a url key that can basically return a seller home so i am just using this router dot url right okay so we got some error there we will fix it soon let me just use there any for a moment and uh, now if i am just coming back to the home or seller you can see that we can we are getting the current path sometimes we are getting the undefined to avoid it we can put a condition so let me just put the condition if uh, well dot url is there right that time we can check this condition and now we will not get any undefined because uh, see there is a no error or anything this is just uh, sometime it will take time to just uh, jumping from one route to another, another route that's why that uh, it's showing some undefined case right so now if i'm just jumping on the home it will show me the root route and if i'm just jumping on the seller he's showing me the route here you can match the routes uh, seller home and that we are getting the same thing 
all right so now you can see that we can detect the route like uh, we are on which route so i just put a one more condition there right so i'm just checking there if uh, seller is logged in or not right currently you can see that seller is logged in but how we can identify it uh, you can just check in the local storage and we have a seller key there right that means uh, data is uh, present related to the seller and seller is logged in so i'm just checking checking here local storage dot get item and let me simply use their seller if we have seller and second thing that we need to check here uh, well dot url dot include right include means in if in url we have that uh, seller keyword right because seller uh, whenever we will visit any seller url that there must be a seller uh, string right so we can just check that also for uh, better you can say that uh, route prevention so i'm just checking here seller if the both conditions are fulfilled we can just make a console again console dot one and we can say that this is seller area right and uh, let's say uh, the conditions are not satisfying that time what we can say that outside to seller area all right so now let's check so currently i am on a seller route and here you can see that we are getting that uh, this is a seller area and if i'm just going on to the home then this is showing me outside the seller area right so our point of doing that is if we are just on seller area that time these menu must be replaced with the seller all right so now what we can do there we can take a menu type property right and uh, that property will help us to just make condition with the html and remove the uh, you can say that other menus which are not related to the condition so let me just put their menu type and uh, by default type is string and normal by default values you can say that default right and uh, if we are in the seller area we can simply say that this dot menu is uh, seller and again if we are outside to that uh, seller area we can say that this dot uh, menu type is again default right there will be a one more type which is the user type once user is logged in uh, to buy the product and all but for a moment we have only two types so i'm just putting that way only and all right so after that what we can do there first of all let's try to remove this search bar if we are on the uh, seller area right so like uh, if we are on the home page uh, that will be present and if we are in, inside the seller area that should not be present so now let's get back to the header dot component dot html and uh, here i am just simply putting a condition and you can say that the condition name is star ng if right and uh, uh, we can say that um, if menu type equal to let me just make it properly uh, type is default right that time we can see that otherwise we can't see that so now let's see is it working or not so currently uh, this is refreshing okay so currently we are on the home page you can see that and even, even we can see that uh, uh, search box also and if i'm just jumping on the seller area you can see that menus are there because we did not remove them we did not apply the logic there but that is removed search bar is removed that's perfect so now uh, next thing is uh, that is working fine so next thing is we have to put the uh, some condition with the help uh, with these menus also so i will not use here if conditions i will use here switch case because as i told you uh, currently we have only two types of menu default menu and seller menu but in the upcoming time we have the seller uh, user menu also so for a moment i am just taking their div and inside div i am just putting these uh, menus and there i am uh, simply using their 
ng switch right and uh, on which we are applying the switch on menu type right all right so that is okay and but uh, in which case we have to show that uh, uh, ul so for that i am using a star ng switch case and uh, there we can say that if we have a default value there that time these menu will be visible so now let's see this is working or not on a seller area and these menus are not there so if i'm just come going on the home they are present in seller area they are not present so uh what we can do there uh, we can just make up one more uh, switch case there for uh, seller right let me just add there seller and menus will be changed there like uh, uh we can say that add product and after that we can say that list next thing is uh, we can say that log out and username seller name sorry and i will add these things uh, like log out functionality and seller name functionality in the upcoming part but now for a moment they are static so now let's see are we just able to see them or not now you can see that uh, on a seller let me just start with the home again on home page we can see that seller home login default menus that is great if i'm on the seller area now you can see that add product list logout and seller name so now the thing is how we can go back on our home page right we don't have any option so in most of the applications you uh, you must have seen that uh, whenever we are just clicking on the logo we are just jumping on the home page so we can do the same thing so let me add there a anchor tag inside the h1 tag and let me use your router link by default that could be blank because blank means we will just jumping on the route and but now you will find that we have to add some style also there so let me just check it there is a color is also changed and there is underline so let me just uh, fix it so just go to the header dot component dot css and uh, i am adding a bit css there like a uh, h1 tag and if we have uh, anchor tag then color could be uh, blue violet and uh, um mm -mm, text decoration is none and now i hope that will be perfectly working fine yep so let's say i'm on the seller area i can see that menu related to the seller and i can jump on the home page also so now let's check the complete flow like uh, uh, let me just uh, you can say that uh, log out that user with the local storage we will add the local uh, log out functionality in the, in the upcoming part so let me just refresh it once if i'm just jumping on the seller area and i can log in or create a new user so let me just enter with the peter or uh, now abc at rate 1 2 3 i hope password is correct yep and now we can just go on the uh, home area uh, seller seller home area and after refresh this is also working fine menus are not working for a moment but in the upcoming part in the upcoming session definitely they will be work and uh, that's all for this part and thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in the comment box thank you guys thank you so much